went through all types of emotions, girl. How y'all doing? Y'all okay? I hope you're doing well. Hope your family is doing well. Uh, hope your health is doing well and you're on the mend. And we're going to pray for healing, whatever you're going through. Okay, back to me. <laughs> uh, hold on, let me put this over here. So... I was out on Friday because I was at the doctor. I went to the cardiologist. I went to get another um, treatment, iron infusion treatment. So I had a pretty full day. The infusion ran a little long, so I wasn't able to make it to the latter part of the day. And I kind of figured I wouldn't. So I had a sub for the first part of the day. And the classes are pretty good, but I had detailed notes for every class period even which students to send to Mrs. Anderson's class, another another teacher. She's strict, strict. She's strict, strict, okay? And it's just so frustrating. <laughs> I went through so many emotions, and I don't like leaving my kids. This is my first time leaving them this year. And I don't like leaving them because it's like I know nobody's gonna care for my things the way I care for my things. And I get a report and it's not a good report. And even Miss Anderson uh, went off on the kids. I mean, it's like I, I, it's like I went above and beyond to create this classroom. Lots of money, lots of begging. Um, it took years to create this classroom, and the appreciation is just isn't there. And it just hurts my heart. And I texted the principal i'm gonna show y'all but i texted the principal on <laughs> on saturday nope i texted the principal friday night and i said i'm sorry once i got my report i was just going through the emotions i was so angry and so hurt i just wanted to ooh, rip these braids out of my hair and i texted the principal i was gonna rip this room down take everything off the walls. I was ready to hire a U-Haul, start taking my stuff home because 95% of the stuff in this classroom belongs to me. And there's no other classroom here at the school like this. But it, I do it for the kids, but more importantly, I do it because it's something that I want to do. It makes, it makes me feel good too. But when it's not reciprocated and when it's not respected, it really, really hurts because I don't have to do this. And when I got the report, and I, and I even said this class is a little loud and they could be a little unruly. And I had specific names down that, uh, of students who I wanted to be sent to Miss Anderson's class. And lo and behold, my fifth period class, um, I, got I got reports on every class period. But this particular class period, I get pictures sent to me. Let me, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. The rest of it is right here. Honestly, I don't care that the chair is broken. Although I spent the time to sand the chairs down, to spray paint the chairs, buy material, refurbish the chairs, recover the chairs. I put my heart and soul in the chairs. Okay, I put my heart and soul into everything in this room. But it's materialistic. Okay, stuff happens. It's not the chair that's broken. Stuff like that don't really bother me, but how they reacted is what bothered me. They were laughing about it. Not, oh no, Miss Basil's chair. No remorse, no sadness, no empathy, no nothing. It was like, ah ha 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 ha. But they, didn't, they don't realize that I put my heart and soul in a chair. They don't realize that's not a free public school education desk. They don't realize that that was the time commitment that I spent on that chair. They don't realize that that hurts my feelings, that they didn't care. I don't care that the chair is broken, that's nothing. Knowing me, I'm gonna go get me another, another chair. That doesn't bother me. But it's how they reacted that was a slap in the face. I am so mad, but it took the whole weekend to get my attitude right. It took going to church 
to get my attitude right. And I feel like I wanna, I wanna cry. Not because, oh, I'm sad, because I'm angry and I'm upset and I feel disrespected. They have never seen me upset. They have never seen the, the, the mean teacher, never. Because I don't want anyone taking me off my square like that. I don't want anyone taking me out of my, 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 I don't want anyone taking me out of my calm zone. I don't want anyone to have that much power over me, but I have had enough. And then I look around this room, I'm ready to just rip everything off the walls and get that U-Haul and bring in free public school education desk and have this place look just like a psych ward. Look just like a hospital. Look just like a gym with nothing on the walls. Look just like an empty, a empty, a empty room. Like, like I'm, I'm just here. You know how many rooms look like that here? You just here? Plenty. Plenty. Maybe they'll appreciate that. But then I rip the room down. All it's gonna do is it's gonna make me depressed. It's really gonna be, so I, I did calm down a little bit, but I am just flabbergasted by the behavior of these kids. This classroom should be able to run like a smooth sailing ship. The first half of the day I heard was great. Uh, my fifth period, I heard they're sweet. They're a sweet bunch. I heard they were great. And then it went downhill from there. Then there was books all over the floor, trash everywhere, no respect, no nothing. There, there was... It, it. See, I'm going to have to stop. Because I can feel my blood boiling. Um, leave it in the comment section below. What do you think I should do? And this would be a lot to dismantle. And it, it wasn't everybody. But it's like that few, that few, you just don't want that few to ruin it for everybody else. I'm trying to get my attitude right. I thought I had it right when I was coming in, I was calm. But then when I got here, um, um, some people cleaned up my room, some adults, some teachers cleaned up my room because it was horrific how those kids left the room. They didn't even have the decency to plug their Chromebooks back in before the end of the day and before the weekend, or else we wouldn't have Chromebooks. Another teacher took the time to plug them back in. I am, I, okay. I'm just blown away. I'm blown away. And it's not some people take your kindness for weakness. The kids just, not all, they just don't value what they've been given here. They don't value it, they don't respect it, or hey, maybe I didn't, um, maybe I didn't train them well enough. It, it could be that too. But today is a new day and I'm ready for the day to get started. I gotta figure out what I'm doing. I gotta figure out what I'm doing today. All right, y'all, have a good day. And if something's going on, take time to think about it, reflect on it, pray about it, go to church, ask Jesus <laughs> for some patience. But boy, that, that. All right, I gotta I got let it go. <clears throat> I get my mind right. <sighs> Bye, y'all.